all right pistons fans now before you guys watch the rest of this video i forgot to add in one thing the head coach for the pistons summer league roster is jordan brink he is the last member of the stan van gundy staff still with the pistons currently so just wanted to throw that in there before you guys watch the rest of this vid but without further ado enjoy this video <laughs> All right, Pistons fans, so in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a full update on the 2022 NBA Summer League for the Detroit Pistons. But before we get into all of that, please make sure you guys like this video. Today's like goal is 400 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I drop consistent Pistons content. I'm trying to get to 7K subs, so if you're new around here and you're a Pistons fan, please subscribe. And without further ado, let's get right into this. So the first thing that I'm going to be updating you guys on is the schedule. So put the image on the screen right now. On July the 7th, 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Detroit Pistons will take on the Portland Trailblazers on ESPN. And that means we get to see top pick and shade and sharp. And also Luca Garza, who we recently released, is a member of the Portland Trailblazers summer league roster that portland game is going to be very fun to watch very interesting then on july the 9th 6 p.m eastern standard time on espn2 we play the washington wizards then on july the 12th 9 p.m eastern standard time on nba tv league pass we go up against the indiana pacers and another top pick the dude who was selected number six overall right behind the pistons ben matherin and then lastly on july the 14th 5 30 p.m eastern standard time on nba tv league pass the detroit pistons take on the cleveland cavaliers but with the roster that i'm going to read off for you guys here in a second i honestly do believe that the pistons have a strong chance to win three out of these four games now let's move on to our summer league roster so first off we have k cunningham now honestly i'm kind of disappointed to see him here on this list because you know if it was up to me i would prefer Cade to not play at all because i believe the same thing that's going to happen to k cunningham is the same thing that happened to sadiq bay last year in the summer league and what i mean by that is sadiq bay should not have played in last year's summer league he was way better than all of the competition out there and he just dominated and destroyed everyone and it didn't really improve him as a player i guess you can say that it added to his confidence but overall i believe that you basically risk sadiq bay's health to slightly improve his confidence so last year bay shouldn't have played and i think that this year it's going to be the same thing with k cunningham he's going to come out there and he's going to literally destroy all of the competition these rookies coming into the nba a lot of these players will also be you know g league guys and i just believe Cade will have a really good performance against all of them so if it was up to me i would say don't risk his health but but i'll trust in the pistons coaching staff I'll trust in the Pistons trainers. If they say Cade can go, then Cade can go. Now we have Killian Hayes. Um, I understand why he's here because in year one, he didn't get to experience the summer league. And then even when he did get to play, it's not like he had an amazing performance or anything like that. So I could definitely understand why you would want to see, you know, another year out of Killian Hayes in the summer league. Then we have Braxton Key, who was a guy who the Detroit Pistons picked up towards the tail end of last season then we have isaiah livers who i think will have one of the best summer league performances out of all of the guys on our team i'm definitely expecting him to pop off then we have charlie moore we have Jaden ivy fifth overall pick for the detroit pistons we have justin turner jules bernard cameron mcgusty isaiah stewart kyle foster stanley umaid saving lee anthony tark sadiq bay i'm shocked that sadiq bay is here and then we also have the brothers from Syracuse, Buddy and Jimmy. So the Pistons signed Buddy to a two-way contract. And I guess because of that, Buddy had a conversation with Troy Weaver and got his brother, Jimmy, to get put on the Summer League roster. So that's actually pretty cool. And then lastly, Balsa Copra Visa, who, who I'm looking forward to the most to see, you know, what he can do. Because when he played overseas, if you look at his numbers statistically, they were not good and then he was also a bench player not getting many minutes over there so i'm curious to see what type of improvements balsa has taken 
but that's basically everything pistons fans this is a full update of the summer league so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like this video comment on this video share this video thank y'all for 6k and i'm out <laughs>